Hey everyone, your host Cy Smith. I'm shooting this video uh, to talk about why travel can kill the violence this summer. Why travel can kill the violence this summer. Here's the bottom line. We really, really have to look at uh, what we're asking for. We're saying we need jobs for these young people. We need jobs for people. And I get that. We do need jobs. The challenge, and some people say jobs <laughs> stand for just over broke. We, our people are hurting. Our people need development. They need to be inspired, exposed, constructively exposed. So just putting them in a trading time for money scenario, which um, jobs tend to do, uh, we had to be real careful. It's the two things that stick out with one is it's a lot of hurt and pain there. Travel is therapeutic. Now, of course, you need a job to travel unless you do what we're proposing, which is what if we create uh, this this pool of money that will allow our people to travel, which is really therapy. It gets them outside the neighborhood. I know guys on the west side, south side, that even if they had a job, they will easily be set up because they know what time they'll be going to and from work. And because of the things they've done in the past, payback will come. They'll be isolated because they have to go to work either early or late, and, and that won't bode well for them. What I believe we really, really have to do is we have to make sure that they get outside the neighborhood. It's like treating, treating a crack um, addict and putting them right back in a crack house. We need to get these young men in Miami, Detroit, Philadelphia, out of their environment, out of their friends and family networks, and put them out there where they can interact with other people, they can have new experiences, they can be exposed to new people. They, it, it'll force them to think outside the box. You can get that from a job, but given the skill set of our people that's unemployed, they wouldn't be getting that from those type of jobs. They'll be pretty much out there doing something that's more manual and not highly intellectual. So anyway, we need to really push this $1 a month, $12 a year, so that every zip code we can make sure that there are travel opportunities for our young people and our under 30, 35 and under group who may have falling off track that we can get them traveling and, and being constructive earning money while they traveling but mainly changing the environment in our neighborhoods block by block we want to create a culture and, and that's where the daily living happens come in that where like today we're honoring all of our elders every friday so wherever they're traveling to they know friday they got to go show love to the elders in that town every wednesday economic day they know no matter what city they're in they have to go to the businesses uh, in that town and show, spend some money with them. So it's not just travel, it's the whole daily living habits and what we do. Thank you.